Society for Mycobiology recognizes certain key sites around the world that have had a tremendous impact on mycobiology. Not where one thing was discovered, but where things happened that completely changed the field. There have only been a handful of these noticed around the world, and today we're going to recognize Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory as being one of those places that's had a very profound impact on mycobiology. I have to back up for one second and recognize that this is something that should have happened 50 years ago, <laughs> but sometimes we're a little slow to do the right thing. And really what happened is ASM has an archives where we store a lot of important historical information. And one of the things Cold Spring Harbor does phenomenally well is they publish a lot of books that represent the history of microbiology, how people think where we got to where we are. And so Jan Witowski and Alex Gahn were down there in the ASM archives digging through for some information about a book. I actually think it was a book about this guy right over here. And uh, this initiated the discussion with people from the Archives Committee of the American Society for Microbiology that really stimulated this to happen. So we're very pleased to have this happen today. Some of you may think of, a, of Cold Spring Harbor as being really important for microbiology because of this meeting. And it is. This meeting has stimulated people to think about research in new and creative ways that are very important. But Cold Spring Harbor has also had courses for well over 50 years, since 1945, that have been phenomenal in helping scientists learn about new tools that relate to microbiology and genetics. And really, it was those courses that led to the whole field of molecular biology and why we are where we are today. And it really is because of what's happened here at Cold Spring Harbor. But there's also some other stuff that, that you really should know about, and many people don't, and that is basic research in microbiology here has been phenomenal, and it set the stage for our field. Demeritz here at Cold Spring Harbor did some of the very early work on mutagenesis in bacteria, isolating of some of the early oxytrophs that set the stage for salmonella as a model organism. I think that's important. <laughs> and, uh, but it really led to our thinking about a whole lot of different ideas, including some of the early discussion of suppressors that ties into the work that John just talked about a few minutes ago. In addition, during the war, Cold Spring Harbor was instrumental in the development of ways of improving the production of penicillin. And so it's played a, a role in microbiology from many, many, many different perspectives. And although this meeting won't be here in the future, I hope deep in my heart that microbiology will have a strong place here at Cold Spring Harbor in the training of people here for many years to come. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to present to Bruce Stillman this plaque that will recognize Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory as a milestones in microbiology. Well, thank you, Stanley, and uh, on behalf of all of us at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, I want to thank you and the uh, American Society of Microbiology, which I'm a member, um, for, have been for a long time, uh, for this recognition. Uh, I think it's very appropriate that Cold Spring Harbor is one of those designated institutions. And I think we also have to thank one of my predecessors, Miss Love Demrix, who really did start everything here in uh, the bacterial genetics. Not only doing the work himself, but he brought uh, Max Delbrook here and Sal Luria. Uh, Max ended up starting the course in 1945, as Stanley mentioned, that had an enormous impact and still does. Uh, the bacterial, advanced bacterial genetics course is still running and we're still going to keep it going. Um, that course uh, and its predecessor, the Phage course, brought numerous people here and uh, I did really did 
helped create the field of molecular biology. But not only that, we have other um, recognition of our contributions to uh, bacterial genetics and phage genetics uh, that will exist at Cold Spring Harbor for many years. Not only do we have the building across the street here named after Missile F. Demerics, but behind it, a newly renovated building is the Hershey Building, named after Al Hershey, of course, his famous work on phages. Uh, then the Delbrook Building, which now is uh, plant biology, but still houses the genetics courses, yeast genetics, advanced bacterial genetics, and plant um, biology and plant genetics. And uh, of course, the now famous Sobolski room in our newly renovated library, uh, honoring Wasov Sobolski, who worked here some years ago. <laughs> and he uh, also has been coming, I think, there's, I don't think there's anybody that beats your record of coming and being a loyal adherent to coming to Cold Spring Harbor meetings. So we should also honor Waslov as well. I think Jim may have more to say about, um, Jim Watson came here as, when he was a graduate student with Sal in 1948, I think it was. And uh, that started Jim's love of Cold Spring Harbor. And, uh, when Jim, of course, came back here to become director, he sort of uh, took us off in a different direction, working on cells with a nucleus and things like that. But uh, um, I think in 1968, that was appropriate as well. Uh, but we thank the American Society of Microbiology. It's really quite um, an honor and I think a well-deserved recognition, I must say. But uh, we uh, thank you very much for this recognition. We'll hang it in a very prominent place, probably in the Delbrook building where the phage courses are held. So thank you very much, and maybe I can introduce you. Well, I, I guess uh, I have had a bad cold, so I'm not going to speak long, but uh, we, we certainly deserve it. Uh, <laughs> And uh, that uh, this is the you know first moment I've learned that uh, this meeting is transferring to uh, a more exciting Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, the East meeting also left us, I think, for sort of similar uh, culinary reasons, uh, and uh, they've come back in a way. So we hope that. Uh, in more specialized meetings, we can uh, uh, focus on uh, what I hope, you know, will be the uh, uh, the chief pursuit of uh, uh, microbiology over this uh, century. You know, the final banishing of uh, infectious diseases. Uh, the fact that we have these antibiotic-resistant bacteria <laughs> in the hospitals <laughs> and no one seems to have done anything, or almost nothing, is uh, a bit scary. And uh, whether it's the same reason that uh, uh, we haven't won the war against cancer, that all the good scientists are spending all their time applying for grants for getting their papers published, instead of focusing you know, on the big objective of, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, TB should be conquered. You know, why not? And uh, uh, I, I would hope, as I told John after his talk, that uh, you know, the, the book that really got me first into science is Microbe Hunters. And uh, it's a shame there isn't a new edition. But I think uh, you know, to have a new edition, you know, hospital infections have to go and so on. And then we'll have new heroes. Uh, you know, great as John is, he's not a public hero. And uh, we just need public heroes, you know, who cure disease and uh, make people like science. So, uh, I, you know, I don't think they're ever going to like us because we're scientists. Uh, <laughs> and uh, because, you know, we're, we seem too focused. Uh, but, uh, if we really want to ensure, you know, that 
uh, hundred years from now, science is thriving. Uh, I think we better focus on some practical things. This, you know, sounds, uh, you know, that I don't like pure science. Uh, John's talk made me feel that there's probably at least another 40 years of biochemistry. <laughs> you know, uh, someday we're going to actually, you know, know Can most. You what? <laughs> no, I, but I mean, you know, clearly we don't know a lot about redox potentials and so on. So there's a lot more to be discovered. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm just not sure we can count on it uh, in the same way we counted on it in 1945. But, you know, you, you, your talk inspired me <laughs> uh, that we at least have 40 more years. Or 50 more years, uh, and which you know, uh, still focusing on E. coli probably makes the most sense. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, uh, we'll miss you, and uh, come back. <laughs>